Hi everyone, and welcome back to our coloring tutorial in Medibank Pen Pro with CLG Art. And today we will make a new cute, lovely anime eyes with galaxy fueling inside the eye. So let's start it. So first, I will create the oval look here with the circle snap. Uh, yeah, like this. Create that and draw the circles in here. Now we divide the circle into two parts. You can see here. And for the first part, uh, the upper eyelid, you will draw the hat like this. Lower eyelid, you will start from the uh, middle to the right to curve up a little bit here to create the lower eyelid. Yeah, that's it. And the upper eyelid in here, you will create more lines in here that you will know how thick the upper eyelid is. And then the double eyelid for the character, that's it, curve and go down in here. That's it. And you have, you can create the eyebrow if you want to. Yeah, just simple line like this. And of course, don't forget the pupil inside the eyes in here. Just create so you can remember about it later. That's it. And you're done for the sketch here. I will lower the opacity and create a new layer. That's it. Layer 2 is here. And I use Sumi Pen. That's it. And, and go back with the circle snap here. And decrease the size of the Sumi Pen to 10. That's it. So I can create a thin line like this and turn it off. The circle snap here. Go back with the zoom span and I increase the size of this a little bit here so I can uh, draw the lines for the upper eyelid. Uh, with this style, you can create it feeling like kind of uh, feeling is sketching, so that's why you will draw every single stroke like this. If you are not feel comfortable with the long lines, you can draw in the short line and then connect them together. You will draw the whole upper eyelid here uh, and um, use the pen to make it dark. It's dark as you can here, but never use bucket tool, just use the, the brush to draw it. So you can see, you can create the stroke like this. The same for the other side. If you feel uncomfortable, you can do the same like me. That we will flip the pictures and continue our work. Line it. That's it. When you're finished and you think there needs some fix, just use the eraser and draw it. For the eyelash, you will draw it up like this curve and up like it for every single strand to create the, the thick look of this just pay attention focus on this and spend a little bit time to work on that Okay, so we are done the eyelash for the upper eyelid here. Don't forget to create a double eyelid. Yeah, we're going up with this. Flip it if you don't feel comfortable. Yeah, that's it. And now for the lower eyelid, I will draw every single strand for the eyelash. Not drawing the curved line, we will draw the eyelash only and it will connect together to create the lower eyelid does it and then we will draw the eyebrow here mm, just erase something that you think is not no need yeah okay and we will check the skate and uh, the light work again and see if there's something you need to fix uh, I want it to be a bit more thicker that's it and you're done for the light work and you know what we're gonna do next? That we create a, a layer here to pen the skin. Yeah. For this time, I, I use the pencil brush here to create the shadow for the uh, the skin because you know that I just uh, recognize that how soft and transparent it look when you use that to draw the the shadow like this 
and when you're done with the shadow to make it look neat and sharp you can pick the base color uh, because you know that we work in the same layers in here so you can we can use the transparent box anymore you must pick the base color and draw pen over it to make it look sharp yeah that's it and now create a new layer use G pen uh, pick white color and draw around the eyes to create the view that we will starting to our main job that is coloring the eyes When you are done with your light work here, go back with the bucket tool and fill it. That's it. And of course, if there's something that not look okay that you want to have the overlook, you can use the transparent to erase some part if you don't need to. That's it. Okay, and now I will create a new layer. This is layer 5. Choose clipping, and that will be our iris. I will use the dark blue here because we created the galaxy, right? So that's why we will use the dark blue here. And then I will pick the uh, pink, no, kind of purple in here with the flat brush. At first, I intend to use Sumi Pen, but it's not give out a good effect for this, so that's why I will choose flat brush and decrease the opacity of this brush a little bit here and tap, tap, tap here to create a pink. And next is for the yellow here. Of course, more, a little bit more blue here, light blue. Great. That's it. And you can see now that it two, when two colors mix together, uh, it will have the transition, transition color. Yeah, that's it. And pick that and pick the neighbor just until you feel it, make it look gradient. And blending. Yeah, like this. Continue to do for the other part here until you feel satisfied about it. Of course, if there's some part you want it kind of blending, don't forget to use the watercolor wet for this. Now I go back with the circle snap in here. You know what? I will draw in the pupil. So pick the blue color in around in your uh, eyes in here so use watercolor brush decrease the size a little bit here and um, draw in the circle in here turn it off turn the circle snap here off so I can paint inside it that's it and then of course go back with the circle snap I want to create more colors inside the pupil that will be the pink a little bit red pink yeah and pen inside it and see that how we have here the feeling of the lasagna and what we do next here that we will create a little bit details for the eyes you know that how the uh, our eyes inside the iris it have this lie yeah like this if you are not uh, feeling comfortable with that you can use the snap tool uh, you, you can see before that perspective snap tool to work on it or else you can do the same let me just rotate it and draw around here with watercolor brush Place that until you're satisfied and create a new layer that's the layer sticking here and it's multiply it to pan around here uh, to create the shadow uh, I just uh, go speed up a little bit here because it's not necessary and of course you can see I create a uh, layer 7 here with add blending to create the sparkling inside uh, I use airbrush here to draw around to create the sparkling 
sparkling feeling. And of course, uh, you can create as many as you can until you feel satisfied. And I also pick the bloom here to paint around the, the, the eyelid to create the feeling that is glowing. Yeah, like this. And just have spend more time here and work at your hue salutation, uh, Gaussian blue, or any filter you want it to, and until you feel satisfied with your work here. And that's the final result. And we are done this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time.